All right, the uh, panelists can make their way up here for the borderless uh, business. And uh, Martin, if you could please make your way up here very quickly. Uh, we will get on uh, with this uh, subject. And of course, uh, we've seen with uh, Peter's business gone from $2 billion to $12 uh, billion, uh, emphasizing three uh, pillars, spirit, partnering, <coughs> and technology. And of course, uh, Martin spoke about the need uh, for the, uh, you know, the shipping industry uh, to uh, become more like a BMW if it's going to survive, and that technology is a uh, key here. I just want to get your initial thoughts on what you heard. Christian. What strikes me is that uh, there's a distinct difference between shipping and offshore. Uh, shipping is, uh, by and large, a commodity business. <coughs> and, uh, offshore is a process business where we deliver engineering, procurement, fabrication, transportation, installation, all at one price, while the shipping is running a relatively simple vehicle uh, uh, on the day rate. Uh, but the type of things that they're talking about, are they applicable, you're saying, or not applicable? Yes, I, uh, well, of we talked about cooperation, uh, the way that uh, the industry can gain uh, from, uh, from cooperation. I think that's a big topic, which we'll come back to, uh, I hope, in the uh, session today. Um, uh, with regard to um, what else were you referring to in the... In terms of uh, use of technology, you yes. know, 30% cost savings, this type of thing. It's a big topic, and from the offshore uh, point of view, we uh, see now that uh, cost reduction must happen as a result of the uh, oil price having halved. And uh, you can't continue to beat the, uh, the margins. The margins are already very, very low. So what we have to do now is to look at the technology. And uh, we have to look at ways that we also work together between the contracted and the uh, operators. And that is, perhaps we could come back to that, but that's a, a huge potential for uh, cost reduction in this area. Okay, Morten, initial thoughts on Sterla and uh, Christian, yeah. yeah when, when you talk about cost savings, I mean, if you, if you, I mean your presentation earlier, Peter, is uh, all the ships they are running. We believe that as a supplier of coatings to the industry, we can actually help uh, to reduce the cost by reducing the fuel consumption. Uh, and you have to do that by cooperating with the customers. So for us to cooperate closer in the future, I think, is key to, to achieve exactly that. As a banker. Yeah. I think this industry still has a time to go, a way to go, to present itself to the world. Because what you're talking about, Martin, I don't disagree with part of it, but you have to, to Christian saying, there are different segments with this in, uh, industry. The bulk are maybe the more commodities, but you have the LNG, you have the gas, you have some of the more complex uh, tanker industry, you have, uh, you have the offshore. So some of these are much more complex. They are regulated, highly regulated, and you need strong management to, to manage these through the, through the waves. Of course, uh, Martin, that was one of the key things you were talking about, the need for you know, efficient uh, management. Uh, Sterla, yeah. Yeah, I think that uh, a lot of what Martin said uh, makes sense, but I, I feel that he's describing a, a a different and parallel universe to what we are seeing because uh, uh, most of the large shipping nations they have typically 40 to 80 percent of the capital values in the commodity trading. Huh? Norway has between six and eight percent. Half our fleet uh, is in traditional shipping in the specialized segments of traditional shipping. Half of our fleet is in offshore and offshore that's sort of ocean space industry. And these ships, they are more space ships than ships. Uh, one uh, example, uh, Lars Schulze, he contracted a ship uh, uh, a short while ago. The capital value of that ship alone uh, is equivalent to 13 large bulkers. So this is sort of, uh, 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 it, it, it's a, it's a uh, diversified industry. And I think that uh, uh, the future of shipping at least for Norwegian shipping, is sort of in the front, in the advanced end of it.